After a long interruption, the festival has been revived recently and is now flourishing, becoming the cradle of Vietnam's kite flute culture. The kite flying festival is deeply ingrained in our culture. There are only a few kite flying festivals in Vietnam, representing the unique cultural identity of rice farming communities. Only the village holds a traditional kite flying competition associated with a temple dedicated to deities. The kite flying competition has expanded in recent years, attracting kite clubs from various northern provinces. Kites entered into the competition must meet specific size and flute requirements. Traditional kites do not have tails. A kite must have at least three flutes with a diameter of 2.5 centimeters or more. With a history spanning a thousand years, the kite flutes have carried on the tradition, participating in many international kite festivals abroad. I have been a judge for 20 years. This year, the village organized a large-scale event to have the festival recognized as a national and tangible cultural heritage. While kite flying is popular in many countries around the world, the mention of kite flutes immediately brings to mind Vietnamese kites. The festival continues to thrive, symbolizing hopes for prosperous farming and economic development.